So in today's video, we're going to be working on this engine. This is an old Revell uh, SW2000 switcher. So um, this is one that came from Caboose Stop as well. And it's been painted to look like the Milwaukee Road colors. It used to be a Union Pacific. Um, there's still a little bit of the yellow on the back. And um, at least on this side, if you look through the uh, orange paint, you can still kind of make out where it says Union Pacific right about here. Um, down there, like there's the O right there and then the U right there. So we'll probably just leave the paint um, the way it is because it looks good enough. Um, and I don't think I'll be able to um, make it look any better. But so this thing, we tested it um, a few videos back and the motor ran, but it didn't um, move at all. So there's an issue with the um, gears or if it does have gears. I've seen ones, um, some of the older Lionel engines are, have a belt drive, so this um, could be one of those engines that could have a belt drive as well, which wouldn't, which would explain why uh, the motor was moving. But with these engines, it's only a, two screws on the back, um, on either side of the wheels, and then the front is just held on by the um, coupler. So just take the two back screws out, and then the body should just... Um, come out of the uh, shell. So the shell should lift off, um, kind of a tight fit. Make sure I actually got all the screws out, I don't know if it did. Which they don't seem to want to come out for some reason. So this engine was pretty cheap, just along with, along with all the other ones, they were all um, not very expensive. Let's see, there's both of the screws out, and then the body should just lift off there, and then the front just make sure you watch the coupler. And I knew it was heavy, but there's a big weight in here. And then the motor is right here. Never seen one quite like that. Seems to spin all right, though, as you can kind of see. Um, very interesting motor. Not too much in here. But I can see that it does have a belt drive right there, um, where the hole is in the uh, top. That big, um, wide black thing is a belt. So I have to get a screwdriver, and then we'll take um, the weight apart. It's two pieces, which is unusual. Um, take it apart. It just appears to be this one screw on the top with a nut, so just make sure you don't lose either of those. And then the weight should come apart, I would assume. Let's see. So the shell did come off in two pieces, and as you can see, this is just kind of a, um, a thing. The drive shaft, the belt appears to be slipping, but the uh, when the drive shaft drives the motor, I don't think the uh, I don't think the belt is or the, the holder for the uh, um, belt is, I think it's slipping a little bit, so even when the motor does spin, even if that belt was in good shape, it still wouldn't move anyway because it's just slipping, so we'll have to glue that back on. And um, if that belt does need to be replaced, I have an extra one, I believe, from when I got that Lionel um, engine, but I'm going to take the motor off. It's just two screws on the bottom, and then the motor should just come off. So the motor's now out. The commutator looks pretty good, but I'm going to just put some oil on the motor and then we'll test it real quick just to see if uh, the running improves at all. So I've got the controller here and we'll just put some wires up to the uh, brush plates on the motor and see if it'll... Seems to run pretty quiet. And it'll probably speed up a little bit as uh, it runs, I don't think this thing has run for quite a while. Yeah, but that seems to run pretty good. So, no issues with the motor. It's mainly the uh, way that they use the the way the drive shaft is. I think the belt is kind of um, stretched out a little bit over time. Is the only thing I could think. So, I'm going to take the uh, bottom of the uh, or the bottom plate of the uh, front truck off now so it's just two screws as well they made all these screws and things really easy to find and get to so that's kind of nice if you're taking it apart 
I don't know if that's the same with other Ravel engines. I think this is one of the older, um, older Ravel engines, but um, some of the newer style ones I don't think were quite the same. So this belt has to come off. It's going to probably be kind of tricky to get back in. This the thing. So take the wheels out as well. And somebody's put some sort of traction tire material on them. Um, and as you can see, there's the uh, main drive shaft. It's in very good shape, and it's got a bearing on it, which is nice. Or, it has bearings, which is nice. So I'll see if I can find that uh, extra drive belt. So I did manage to find the other um, extra drive belt that I have. It's just a rubber uh, O-ring, is basically what these are. This one's just a little bit smaller than the uh, original. So I'll have to see if this one will actually work. So we'll just put this back together for now and we'll put it back inside the motor to make it a little bit easier of uh, when we put it back together. Be kind of hard. So while I've got the drive wheels out, I will take off the um, traction tire that they put on there and um, put some new and smooth ones on there. So now I've, now I've oiled, greased, and greased the bearings and put the new traction tires on, so the only thing to do with the front truck at least is put the base back on. So it just um, goes on just opposite the way that we took it off. And the front truck is now done, so we'll just have to put the uh, motor shaft back on and um, make sure that this uh, that this drive belt is actually working. I'm not sure exactly how this thing is supposed to work. It's quite an unusual setup this is. Um, as you can see, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be actually um, tight on the motor shaft or not, so I'll have to continue looking into that. So this is about this is about 10 seconds later. So um, this uh, motor shaft has a C clip on it right here, as you can see, holding these on. And it was just a little bit loose, so I kind of pressed it back down. And now it seems to be quite a bit tighter than it was. It's still not completely tight, um, but it should be good enough for the belt that's on it, or for the amount of force that's going through it. So um, I will put the motor back on and get back to you. So the motor is back on. I will take the back truck apart just to make sure that um, everything is fine with that and this engine will be ready to put back together. So on the back truck there is no um, there are no gears in it. There's just the it's just um, metal on one side for a pickup for the other side of the motor, but it is, this side is quite hard to get off. So the back truck appears to have been glued together, so I am not going to try and take that apart, but um, I'm going to put the uh, rear truck back on now. So I had to move one of the motor, or one of the, I had to take one of the screws for the motor out to actually be able to, um, get this back truck on because the uh, motor shaft sits right over where the screw is so um, if I didn't move the motor at all I wouldn't be able to get the motor shaft I wouldn't be able to get the back truck on or off so we will just put that back on and it moves freely so we will put the um, screw for the motor back in the other screw you don't have to take both out you can just take one and then move the uh, move the uh, motor over a little bit so then we'll put the shell and stuff back on and all the weights so now I've got everything back together so now all we have to do is take it over to the track and test it so there it is I'm not really sure if it's gonna do anything but only one way to find out yeah, there it goes not very fast um, at least not now and this is the first time I've run it so I'm not sure if it making some funny noises, but um, have to continue 
seeing if it runs any more. That's full speed on the controller. At least backwards and then forwards, we'll see. That's full speed. It was starting to get a little smoother, but I think it probably just needs to be run around, but I'd say that's a success. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.